Hi friends, in this tutorial we are going to see how to install a PSPAT text editor. So this will be useful for our PHP execution too. So now let us see how to install it. Now go to Google, type PSPAT text editor and click on the first link. After that, click download and there will be a lot of options like installer, HTTP etc. So you click installer, so it will be redirecting to another site. So in this site, there are two versions are available, one is portable, another one is standalone. Anything for your wish, download it. It will be approximately 5 MB in size. So it will start downloading and I had already downloaded it. It will be something looking like this. So click on it. Click next. Accept it. Next. Next. And next. And install. So after installation, uh, finish it and we will be opening a PSPAT text editor. It has a task pan and menu bar too. So in the left side of the taskbar you can uh, you can have your own projects like uh, you can add different folders or different or remove folder or many kind of facilities and in this it's a solution explorer you can explore your own pc and if you want to open a file you can open it edit it and save it and this is a ftp connector like if you're having your own site somewhere remote it so you can connect it to it and you can edit it directly so it has connection name server username password etc so for example I will connect you this earth of editing so click connect so it will be automatically connecting and yes so after this you will see all the files of earth of Day website so you can directly open it and edit it and save it too and here you can see my favorites and you can add your favorites too like your own projects and this tab shows what are the things which are open in it so first of all uh, file click new file and click on php so the php library will be loaded for example uh, type echo e and then press ctrl plus space so it will be automatically predicting it and the another advantage of this is uh, for example if you are using some loops like if loop so if you are opening a brace it will automatically close it so this will be very useful if you are if you are programming a long one and this is much more better than dreamweaver 2 it is very small size and free and uh, during this course you will be using replace 2 and another one important feature of this is ascii table like you can if you double click the ascii table it will be added automatically into the program and another one is it is a um, uh, some special characters or special symbols if you want to add it inside a html tag you can add it and another one is a color picker so you can uh, pick the color and if you double click it it will be added to the code like this so if i selecting some colors and i am double clicking it and it will be added to the code and these are the uh, features which will be using uh, in this and there are a lot of features in pspad and in the next tutorial we will be seeing how to start programming and uh, first syntaxes or what are the different types of variables so thanks for watching and one more thing is this pspad also has a zoom facilities too so control plus crawl up we zoom it and uh, thank you for watching